all right guys so the other day i asked on instagram if anyone had any tips or any kind of advice on how to remove orange crayon from my car seat um valentina long story short was given some crayons i don't know where we went and one of them stayed on the seats and it melted and it's orange and it's all over the seat so i want to remove it and I asked on Instagram and nobody answered. Nobody had any tips for me to use or to do. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go online. I went online and I found uh, that what you have to do is just generally try to scratch as much of the actual crayon that you can, get as much off as possible. And then all you gotta do is go over with a degreasing soap. So Dawn, dish soap, anything. Um, so I was like, all right, nobody answered. I gotta get this done. I gotta do this. And I had been dreading to do it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be upset because you guys know my car is only one year old and I take care of it like no other. So I don't allow Valentina to come in the car with food. I don't like drinks in my car. I don't like junk and crap in my car. I don't like a dirty car. I'm sorry, I just don't. That's just not me. If you have filthy cars, that's your problem. For me, that's a no-go. Um, so what I'm gonna be using is a little bit of this Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. It's a green tea scented, but honestly, it's not gonna make a difference because they have a different um, variety of scents. But Castile Soap and Dr. Bronner Soap is amazing. Like, I can't tell you guys how much I love this stuff. And it's universal, you can use this even for your house. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna use some of this and then I'm gonna see how um, how it goes and if it removes if it comes off I'm gonna show you guys everything and all the footage all right guys so here it is I am trying to scratch and remove as much of the melted crayon off of the seat you need to be careful with what you use as far as a tool to scratch it off Do not use anything with rough or sharp edges because that will damage your seat and you will cut through the material so i had a hard time honestly scratching this off but i did as much as i could all right so now the fun part i got my damp towel and i just got a little bit of the warm water with the soap because i first wanted to try and see if it was actually going to help and it actually did so basically this is what you do you get your towel you dip it you squeeze as much uh, excess water as you can then you're going to go ahead and buff over the spot or the stain of the crayon um, I used probably about one cup of hot water as hot as you can take it um, obviously because you're coming in contact with the water by dipping your hand or your rag and about 10 drops of soap it all depends on how really bad saturated uh, your your stain is or how large your stain is from your crayons. We're doing crayon today. You guys saw mine was kind of small, so buffing and going in circular motions is really, really working out for me. The best thing I recommend for you to do is just give it a try with a towel first and then you can go in with a toothbrush the toothbrush oh my god it's straight out got a lot out as you guys can see it's automatically bleeding the orange color straight out of the seat and i was like oh my god why didn't i think of this but again you have to be gentle with the surface of your car material because it is delicate and so here i am just rubbing as much as i can and honestly at least 90 percent of the spot came out all right, guys, as you guys can see, 90% of the spot is completely gone. Right now, I got a clean towel. And that's what I'm trying to remove the excess soap. And look, some color is still coming off. Guys, don't allow your kids to go in your car with anything. No markers, no pens, no crayons. All right, guys, if you guys can see, the majority is gone. Um, I know you can still see it a little bit, but actually the camera is picking it up very detailed. It's not the way it looks. It's actually less intense, and I'm actually very happy with this, and I'm willing 
to leave it. But I'm just going to let that go and then on another day I'll come by and I'll do another round of scrubbing. Um, I just hope I don't get like a water spot splash look after um, it dries out because again you have to be careful with this material otherwise you're gonna uh, lift it up but as you guys can see it's pretty much done all right guys so I'm pretty much done with removing the stain I had at least a 95% come off um, my camera actually picked up a lot of detail it actually does not look too much like what it looks like but I would say 95% of or even like a 98% came off um, as you guys saw I worked really hard at the end I asked my husband for a uh, an old toothbrush because I was like look this whole rag thing is not cutting it and I need something that's gonna brush it but at the same time I need to be careful with the material because it may not remove it um, and it's actually probably gonna make just the material fuzzy and fleshy um, because you know you're, you're scratching you're, you're exfoliating um, unfortunately yes you do have to do it for a good amount of time I was out there probably for a total of like 20 minutes it wasn't long <laughs> but for me it's like I want this thing to come off so um, Again, I'll show you guys the soap that I use was this one, the Dr. Bronner's Green Tea Castile Soap in the liquid form. Um, the scent, again, it does not make a difference. You don't have to get the lemon, the green tea one that I just used. There's lemon, there's lavender, there's orange blossom, there's cherry blossom, there's citrus orange, um, and then there's unscented, which honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter as long as it gets the crap out of the car. Um, so yes, the stain did come off. Um, anything I can recommend is basically just scratch off as much as you can um, and then just go with nice warm water. The soap, it's very concentrated so just a few drops will do. Scrub and buff in circular motions and you will get the stain out. Alright, so I hope that this helps you guys. If you guys do do this and this method does help, please give this video a thumbs up or Go in the comment section below and let them know because a lot of people go by the comments and a lot of people like to read the comments so um, I'm one of them <laughs> I'm one of the ones that likes to go in the comments and be like okay so this is what I read this is what I saw and then this is the feedback from the audience so please if you do do it the way I just told you to let me know in the comment section and let me know what your results were obviously everybody's different um, scenario as far as crayon some people may have a little bit some people may have a lot you may have to work a longer amount of time than I did because mine was just a strip of orange out of all the colors orange like you guys know orange comes with red red is very staining so it was hard but I'm glad I was able to get 98% of the stain out of my damn seat you guys have no idea how concerned I was like I don't want my car to be all ugly. I don't want it to be all nasty. <laughs> but, <coughs> <coughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you are going to be doing that, please leave it in the comment section again. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!